how do you think, for your first time sitting on that desk this year, that the uh, GB9 Tour has gone this year? Well, from what I saw last year, and from me being behind the desk this year, I think I think with quite a lot of it, it's going a lot better, and matches are getting started earlier, even though people don't think they are. Because of the fact that last, last year we had it where Say we started at nine o'clock today. Last year we had it that we started at nine, half past nine, um, but people had to be here half an hour early. Now we've got rid of the half hour early, and we've said people have to be here at, like, at nine. The first match starts. So even if the match say started at half nine, it's still on time. So it it does mean that it is finishing earlier. Um, obviously, you always have setbacks, such as yesterday with Murray getting on into the final and then having to be on at 5.30, which obviously was never going to happen. Um, I think I think quite a lot of it's running quite smoothly. Um, what changes would you make, if you could? Uh, I'd have... Because obviously with the gap that we had yesterday, with the fact that the finals were meant to start at 5.15 and then the first round of the main was meant to start at 5.30 it's physically impossible for all of those matches to get on so I think there needs to be an allotted time slot or something like that or because obviously you can't have two tables on and then start 16 tables it's, it's not going to work um, so I think it needs a bit more of a time a, more of a reasonable time slot between that because 15 minutes a match isn't going to finish so um, is there room for manoeuvre in terms of like playing the two finals so everybody can watch them and then start in the evening session? Uh, the thing is, is because the final yesterday, one of them carried on for, I think it was about two hours long. So if that happens, then say they start at just, they start, ended up starting at about quarter to six because of the fact that obviously we had to have the ceremony bit. Um, and then obviously it'll be caught to eight before anything starts. Now, because we were able to catch quite a lot up, um, and we had like the second or third round just going on at that point. So a with the fact that it's only a two day, well, practically two day weekend, I don't think there's enough time, unless you start Friday dramatically earlier, and then people, I don't know whether people will be able to cope with that. But you'll be on behind the desk next year as well. I will be. I'm, Gary, I'm definitely behind the desk next year, which is some exciting news. Um, I'm quite happy about it. It's, it's good behind here. It's, um, it's, it's good behind here as well. It's nice to be doing something, because obviously mm. we're sitting around. It's nice. I think I bring a bit of girl back to it, which is good. And I, I don't take that much crap, because I'm not, I'm not um, stunned by any players. So... <laughs> Not that they're not all good. They are very good players, all and the quality this year is very good. Yeah, yeah. They're definitely, everyone's improving. Even like people like Lewis Clark and Ben Moore, they're playing in a minute, and they're, they've both stepped up their game this weekend. Oh. Everyone's doing really well. Um, quite a lot of new names this weekend. Um, I pronounce them all terribly wrong, but there you are. Um, <laughs> so, hoping next year we'll get more new names. I'll learn how to pronounce them, and we'll carry on onwards and upwards. Cool.